Hi there, my name's Charlie and I'm the Education Officer here at the British Home Welfare Trust. We wanted to create some materials to help support you guys, the parents and teachers out there who are doing an amazing job looking after the country's young people at this really difficult time. So we've got a range of six activities due to come out over the next couple of weeks. We're going to release one activity per week, um, so check back um, after you've done this activity. And um, of course, keep us updated with how you're doing. We'd love to see your photos. We'd love to see the work that you guys are doing um, throughout this time. Um, it's really exciting. We hope that you enjoy these activities. Uh, today's activity, uh, the first one we have is called Henna Vision. So you might have guessed we're learning a little bit about chickens vision um, because they have amazing eyes. They are super animals, chickens. Sometimes they're a little bit kind of down the pecking order as it were, they're kind of seen as the underdogs of the animal world but um, obviously we really love them here. So even if you don't have your own chickens at home, we hope that you'll learn something new and really exciting about hens. Okay, so let's get started. So I don't have any of my own chickens at home, so today I've brought with me a little special volunteer. Okay, I've got Hetty the hen here and as you might be able to see, Hetty has two eyes just like you and me. Okay, but her eyes are very, very special. Okay, her eyes are very different to ours. Despite the fact that she has two eyes, they, if you don't have a hen yourself, they look a little bit like this. So, they are orange, unlike her own. If you look at your, your sibling's eyes or your parent's eyes, you'll notice that they're maybe green or brown or blue. Our eyes are really different colours to these. And her hens, they have superpowers, okay? They can actually see an additional colour. So if we look at this picture here, okay, I'll try and hold that up to the camera. Here's, ooh, here's what a person can see. Okay, that's all the colours we can see. And here, as you might have noticed, under the hen column, they have an extra colour. Now, this extra colour, you could see it in that picture because we've drawn it as an example, but that colour we can't actually see with our own eyes, okay? That is something called ultraviolet. So you might have heard of that, okay? And it's kind of on the, it's on the um, blue purple end of the, uh, the spectrum um, of light, and we can't see it, but many other animals can, okay? And most birds, including chickens, can see this colour, okay? Now you might be asking, why is that important? Why does a hen need to be able to see ultraviolet light. And here is an example I'm going to show you. Okay, um, like I said, most birds can see an ultraviolet light. So we think that this is what we see, obviously, with our eyes. So you've got an example on the worksheet that you can download to look at as well. So this is what we can see. Uh, it's just quite a normal colours, kind of a bit drab, a few colours in there, but not that exciting bird, okay? Now, if I flip it over, this is what we think birds can see. Okay, so it's a lot brighter, okay, more in your face and exciting and vibrant, okay. Because they can see that extra colour, their world looks really different to ours, okay. They might be able to see things a lot brighter, um, as I said, more vibrant, um, and it helps them spot things. So there's certain things that a hen will need to spot. I wonder if you can guess what they are. So I'll give you a couple of seconds see if you can work that out. Okay, um, so first thing, okay, Hens are predators. Well, they are omnivores, they eat seeds and they eat plants, but they also eat other animals. So they eat insects and they can even eat frogs and mice as well if they manage to catch one. So um, they need those really good, that really good vision. Um, they need to be able to see things really clearly in order to catch their prey, okay? And uh, there is also another reason. They are quite small animals, so that means that they are prey for a lot of animals as well. So in order to be able to see uh, the things like foxes or, or kind of other larger animals sneaking up on them, they need to be able to spot them quickly. And if an animal's fur glows really brightly um, against the background, then they're more likely to spot it and more likely to get away. So that's pretty cool. They see the world really differently from us. Okay, and if we look as well, a hen's eyes are also placed on the side of their head. Okay, so that means that they can see almost the entire way around their head. So if you were to hold your hands here and wave like I am now, you can't see your hands, can you? Okay, you can probably see them about here, but behind your head, we can't see them because our eyes are on the front of our head. Okay, so 
that shows how amazing their eyesight is. They can see all the way back here, and if again, there's something sneaking up behind them, they've seen it already, whereas we might not actually have seen it. So they need those eyes to help them stay nice and safe, as well as helping them find food. Okay, and there's another amazing thing as well. You might have spotted, if you've got your own hens at home, they sometimes look at, like they're pecking on the floor at something that isn't even there. Okay, and that is because they can um, not only see things really clearly because of that amazing ultraviolet light, they can also look at things that are close and far away at the same time. Now again, we can't do this, okay? And what I'm going to ask you to do is look at something on your wall, so maybe a picture or a photo that's on the other side of the room, okay? And also hold your hand up in front of your face like this as well and see if you can focus on both at the same time. Chances are you won't be able to do it. Okay, we can only focus on one thing at the same time, either far away or close up, meaning that we can see it in lots of detail. For those other animals, like our lovely hen here, they can see things close up while they're eating, and far away, like that fox that's stalking them at the same time. Again, keeping them nice and safe. So they really have incredible eyes. They are much more sensitive than ours. Um, and they help keep those hens nice and safe. So they actually have some special superpowers that we can't even imagine what the world around us would look like. Um, so your task today, okay, even though our eyes can't see as much hens, you're gonna try your best to go outside and think like a hen. Use your hen vision. You're going to go out in the garden or go out during your exercise time, uh, maybe in a local park, just make sure that you're staying safe um, and you're keeping with your family and not getting too close to other people at the moment, okay? And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on a scavenger hunt. So what you'll find on our website, if you download the Henovision worksheet, we have got loads of different insects and bugs for you to find, okay? See if you can find as many of those as you can, tick them off as you go along. If you see any extra ones, definitely note them down. Take photographs of yourself doing your scavenger hunt, send in, uh, your thoughts as well and if you really are really excited about kind of uh, henna vision and what they can see what you can do after your scavenger hunt is you can also try your own henna vision drawing so here I've drawn a bird and coloured it in as if I were a bird so it's really nice and bright maybe you could do an insect maybe you could even do a family portrait from the perspective of your chicken okay well thank you very much for watching and tune in next week where we'll be learning more amazing things about hens Thank you very much. Have a nice day.